What's going on, everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to the Cosmic Wonder, where we talk all things Marvel and MCU, and today we actually have quite a bit of news. Concerning Spider-Man No Way Home, of course, Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage, and we got some new Eternals news as well. A little rumor flying around for the Eternals, and a big rumor going around for Spider-Man No Way Home that I really, really hope is true. We actually have some Venom Let There Be Carnage new footage, and we have some information about the pre-sales for the film, which are looking pretty good right now, which is also a very good sign that eventually we're going to see Spider-Man and Venom go at it. And ultimately, I think you'll really enjoy the Spider-Man rumor and what it could mean for the future of the Spider-Man franchise if it does indeed turn out to be true. So if you love Marvel and Spider-Man and want to stay up to date on all things MCU, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the latest videos. And big thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. More on them in a bit. So this rumor for Spider-Man No Way Home is pretty cool, and I think a lot of people are going to like this. I think a lot of people in the beginning were wondering when exactly were Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man going to be taken from in their universe? Will they be taken right after the final events of their last films? Will some time have gone by? Could they be married? After all, Shailen Woody was supposed to play MJ in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So what exactly can we expect from them in Spider-Man No Way Home? Well, according to a writer for the GWW, Geeks Worldwide, AJ, they say that from their understanding, Andrew is right after The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Toby is years after Spider-Man 3. And this is very interesting if this turns out to be true, because Andrew's going to be taken right after the events of the last film. No time in between, which means there's not really going to be much more development there. It'll pretty much be the same Spider-Man that we last saw. However, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man will have had some time, so he would have had time for a lot of character development. And this is where it actually gets really, really interesting, especially if you combine it with other rumors that we've heard before. And those that he's going to be married to MJ and he's going to have a daughter. This particularly excites me because a character that I've always wanted to see is Spiderling, the daughter of Mary Jane Watson and Peter Parker. Her name is Annie Parker, and she inherited the abilities from her dad, of course. However, she is a tiny bit more, let's call it, enhanced. Her spider senses are actually much more evolved than her father's. So she has precognition. She can see events in great detail before they happen. And I personally think that it would be really cool to see Spiderling on screen with her father. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting that in Spider-Man No Way Home. However, a possible setup could happen. After all, we are getting the Young Avengers... Perhaps this is another member of the Young Avengers that could happen if somehow the universes collide even more. There has been a lot of talk that we could be getting a Spider-Man 4 with Tobey Maguire, a Sam Raimi Spider-Man 4. There was supposed to be a fourth movie and we never got it. And there's been a lot of talk lately about the possibility of getting that movie. There's also been a lot of talk of Andrew Garfield sticking around as well. And I would really like for this to happen because I know a lot of people don't like the Amazing Spider-Man franchise, but I just truly do think that Andrew Garfield really loved the part, did the best that he could, and was not a bad Spider-Man by any means. I don't think the failure of the franchise or the movies was his fault, and I think he should get another chance, and I really do think it would be cool to see the other two Spider-Man kind of stay involved, and I think this for two reasons. One, obviously because I love the other two Spider-Man, and I would like to see more films. But two, this would actually mean something greater for Tom Holland's Spider-Man. If they are going to show Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield later on down the road even more, that means that their roles in No Way Home don't have to be huge. They come in to help, but they don't really take it away from Tom Holland. A lot of people have really wanted him to go out on his own and kind of not rely on anybody. And I think that we really still could get that from this film. But the biggest thing here is that I think there's a lot more happening than we actually know. I think Sony and Marvel Studios have a lot more plans with some of these other Spider-Men down the road. At least I really, really hope so. And there have been a lot of rumors, nothing confirmed yet, but a lot of rumors talking about this. And as far as Tom Holland getting some help from people, I ultimately don't think that he will get help if he ever goes up against Venom, which I'm thinking is going to happen. Especially if you consider what Tom Hardy recently said about Venom and Spider-Man. And I'll talk about that in just a second. 
But before we continue, please allow me to thank our sponsors for today's video, Scentbird. As you know, sponsors really help the channel, especially when they are super cool sponsors like Scentbird. Guys, if you're trying to get the attention of that one special lady, and ladies, if you're trying to smell great and get the men to work harder, this is for y'all. Scentbird is a fragrance, cologne, and perfume subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 different brands. And yes, they do have designer perfume and cologne brands that you know and love. And one of the best parts is it's a flexible subscription, so you can skip any month without any penalties. Now, if you already like fragrances or you're looking to get some, Scentbird is the way to go. Why? Because with each fragrance that you get each month, you'll get a 30-day supply, so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full bottle. Like I mentioned, they carry designer brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, and more. And these are 100% authentic. They work directly with the brands. And if you want, you can upgrade to receive two to three products a month. I've upgraded, and this month, I chose English Laundry, Prada, and Sanctuary. And I have to say, I really love the Prada. On the back, it tells you what comes in it, lavender, mint, bitter orange, sage, and musk. And I chose these because they're all very refreshing, very light, very citrusy. It smells like springtime. So if you're looking to up your dating game or just be fresh, be sure to click the link in the description down below. And be sure to use coupon code COSMIC for 30% off your first month subscription for only $11 for your first month. Now, as I mentioned, we do have some new footage of Venom Let There Be Carnage. Now, it is mostly the same footage, except for a part at the end, which is pretty cool, where we see kind of Carnage breaking out of some place. I'm assuming it's probably the prison, but it looks really, really good. And I'm thinking that the action of this movie is actually going to be better than the first, which obviously is great. And Venom 2 has a pretty decent start to pre-sales. Right now, it's about half of what Shang-Chi's pre-sales were, and they are expecting around 45 to 55 million opening weekend. And this is pretty great news. Now, the reason why this is great news is because Tom Hardy specifically talked about Venom 3 about a month or two ago. And he literally stated that the goal for Venom 3 is to have Tom Holland's Spider-Man in it. He said that's the goal. That's the Olympic gold medal that he's going to go for. He said that he has to shoot for that, and if both studios are okay with it, that's what he wants Venom 3 to be. And if you consider this combined with the news that Sony just changed the name of their Spider-Man universe again from the SPUMC or the Sony Picture Universe of Marvel characters, which I hate, so I'm glad they changed it, but now it's very simple. The name of the universe is simply now Sony's Spider-Man universe. And this is good news, and it's pretty much a sign that Sony is actually going to use Spider-Man. No, don't concern yourself about Spider-Man in the MCU. I don't think he's going anywhere. I do, however, think he's going to jump universes. After all, Kevin Feige stated that a year ago, more than a year ago, that Tom Holland's Spider-Man is the only character with the ability to jump between universes. And considering the fact that they've changed their name, I'm going to go ahead and say that Spider-Man, our Spider-Man, is going to appear in other Sony films. Craven the Hunter, Morbius, Spider-Woman, or whatever Olivia Wilde's Spider-Woman project is going to be called, and eventually Venom. Hopefully Venom 3 if Tom Hardy gets his way. So let's really hope that Venom does well because if it does, that is good news for a Venom vs. Spider-Man epic film. And also, if you have three Spider-Man in one movie, you kind of got to wonder, what do they have planned next? How do you go bigger or get fans excited? Well, I think Venom vs. Spider-Man would definitely get fans really excited. Now, last but not least, Marvel did release some Eternals posters, and they are quite cool, and I don't think people understand just how big the Eternals film is going to be. And yes, it is going to be a massive film. It's going to earn a lot of money, I'm sure, and the cast is crazy big, but that's not actually what I'm referring to. I'm referring to the implications and the repercussions that I believe this film is going to have on the MCU. Since the Eternals are so old and have been around since the very beginning, I think we're going to actually discover a lot about the MCU. And then in current time, after the snap, like we've seen in the trailers, we're also going to see some major repercussions, mostly probably concerning the Celestials. And possibly, if we're lucky, the mutants, because after all, the Eternals are directly connected to the creation of the mutants. So the Eternals could really be the start of something very, very 
huge in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And just visually, it looks like it's going to be a beautiful movie. These posters are magnificent. The trailers are beautiful. I can't wait to watch the movie. I hope it's a massive success. So be sure to let me know what you think about the Spider-Man No Way Home rumors, the possibility of a Venom versus Carnage face-off, and let me know what implications you think the Eternals are going to have on the future of the MCU. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, and for live updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Also, if you are interested in Scentbird, be sure to click the link in the description down below, and be sure to use code COSMIC so you can get a discount on your first month's order. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.